Music fans, listen up. You know that feeling? Get so excited about an upcoming concert only to find out that the prices are sky high. Did you say it's this weekend's Duran Duran Appreciation Day? Tomorrow is Duran Duran Appreciation Day. The sky's Day. the limit for what you would pay for exactly. those. But reporter Amira <laughs> David found out that there are ways you can land those special tickets for much cheaper so you don't waste your money. Who doesn't love a good concert? A chance to listen to all your favorite tunes while sitting up close and personal. But it's not all fun. One stressful part, scoring some reasonably priced tickets. It's like 20 bucks a ticket usually um, for the bands that I see. But that's certainly not the norm. According to Statista.com, the cost of an average ticket for a live concert is actually around $94. I mean, at that point, I might not even go to the show, honestly. I always wanted to go to a concert, but due to the price of the ticket, I just can't afford it. Lots of Metro Detroiters choosing to say no thanks, but experts say there are great ways to steal a deal, starting with locking down a ticket at the last minute. Promoters are often going to release a wave of tickets right before the concert. So if you're willing to wait until the day of, if not a couple of hours before the show, you're usually going to get a better deal. Kelsey Sheehy, a personal finance expert with NerdWallet, says you'll be rewarded for your flexibility. But if you're eager to lock down your seats early, then your next best bet, go fee-free and buy the tickets in person. You're adding anywhere from, you know, $20 to $30 on top of your ticket price to expect to pay in fees. We checked some of the venues where you can avoid the fees in person at a box office versus online include Little Caesars Arena, Royal Oak Music Theater, and the Fillmore. And if you're looking to jam to your favorite tunes at no cost at all, then your third top tip, take advantage of summer music festivals. Those festivals don't run on their own and they often need an army of volunteers to help make things run. And so you might be able to get a free pass just by putting in a little bit of sweat equity. And another way to save could be by skipping town. Ticket prices actually vary by location, so it could be a great chance for you to get away and get cheaper tickets while you're at it. Keep that in mind so you don't waste your money. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Hey,